Yeah? Okay, I'm going to show you Muse. Why am I showing you Muse? Not the Muse, just a Muse. <coughs> Why am I showing you Muse at an InDesign user event? Because Muse is written by like some InDesign engineers and it's designed for people who don't want to code. Now, there's been some feedback around this and it's a beta and you get it from labs.adobe.com you can download it. But what it is, it's, it's written by um, some um, uh, InDesign engineers. I'm going to say no and I want to show you a couple of things. Let me, so you get it for free at the moment. It will eventually be a chargeable product but it's, I'm gonna, it's at least six months before we do that. I'm going to open this file. And this is what I love. Now, where have you read that before? <laughs> so, you can see the heritage. It's, it's written by the same guys who write um, InDesign. So, I'm going to click OK. So, what it's designed for is, again, for you to build a website. Not web pages, but a website. Okay. And if you wish, you can hook it up to another part of our business called Business Catalyst. Because if you want a website that has a shopping cart that does credit card clearance with a lot of other stuff, we've had a, we bought this great Australian company three years ago called Business Catalyst. Crack a product, we buried it. No one's heard about them, but they're they're, they're a great bunch of guys. Um, and um, it's it's a it mostly sells in the US, but if you it's a great um, a website um, hosting service. Anyway, so we needed something to be, but you don't have to use that. This will just go out to HTML. As a matter of fact, if you go to julietcohen.com.au, you'll find a really excellent website design for an artist who just happens to be my wife. Using news. Okay. So, as you can see, this is a sort of um, roadmap, and I'm going to set up this. Now, I know, answering some feedback, this is the new site, and I know it says page width and page height, and, and, and websites don't have a page width and a page height, but this is just so you can get started on something and margins and columns and so on. So I'm going to click OK. So the first thing you'll notice is we have some master pages and we have, we have home pages. Now the <coughs> interesting thing about that is that, again, the concept is familiar. We have master page and whatever you put on the master page will obviously be on the, all the other pages. But the beautiful thing about the master pages that I like is, let me go to my, this website. Uh, no, I'll do it here. Okay, you see there's See there's a, a menu system here, home, the coffee, cart map, about, contact, okay? And if you notice on the actual plan, home, the coffee, cart map, about, contact, same sort of thing. So what if I was to create a new site, a new page over here, okay, and you just click these little plus things, new page. I'm going to call this RMIT, okay? What does that do? Well, instantly I go to that RMIT site, you'll notice that we added RMIT automatically <coughs> to the menuing system. So every time you have a page, it automatically adds that page to the menuing system. And the design of this is to enable you to keep the structure um, correct in a website. Now, you don't have to. You can specify the page and say, don't include in the menu system. So whilst we're doing that, there's a couple of other things. Uh, just to show you the interface, obviously there's a number of views, plan, Design, which we spend most time in, preview it, which is the WebKit browser, and I'll just show you the preview, and publish it, which enables you to go out to either HTML or to the Business Cat site if you want a business catalog site. Um, so let's just go back to design view. In the design view, there is a toolbar across the top here, which allows us to select tools. Look at that. When was the last time you saw that? Anyone ever buy and install the PageMaker plugin pack for InDesign? That's where that came from. Okay. Um, See, we're, we're a very green company. We recycle everything. Um, and you've got to keep an eye on, for those who are interested in using Muse, keep an eye on that there because it'll tell you what you've got selected. Fill, stroke, various things, round corners, you name it. So on. The browser fill, what's the colour behind the in the browser when it's viewed in the browser? And as a matter of fact, I want it to be an image, so I actually pick an image so that when the page is not as wide as the browser, it'll fill up with you know, other stuff. Okay. I'm doing this extremely quickly. There's a whole lot of tutorials up on the website. Um, so what I'm going to do then is I'm going to show you how to quickly I'm going to build my site, website too. So on the master, I want to down here we have obviously swatches, fills, text, um, paragraph styles, character styles, etc, etc. And we have a widgets library. And in the widgets library, I want to make a menu uh, and I'm going to make it um, horizontal. Okay. So I drag out this widget and you can see as I drag it, it's expecting you to put some stuff in, so I'm going to just put that up there. And remember, I'm on the master page, but I only have one 
page. As a matter of fact, I'm not going to use that one. I want to use bar. Okay, so I drag out these widgets, put it up there. Now I only have one page. Okay, so that's why it's only showing me one page. I have a heads up display, and the important thing here is to edit together. So just I'm going to jump ahead and go back to my website, and I'm going to add, um, and we'll call this RMIT, and we'll call this IDUG, and we'll call this Dot. Okay, so now when I go back to the master, you can see that okay, it's put those in there, and I it just you don't have to do that. It just makes it more sense to me, and I can you know, rearrange these, resize it, um, change the colour, and so on. And as I click on each of these, notice, and again, remember I said keep an eye on this here, up there, because there's the widget, and when I click again, there's the container. And when I click again, there's the text frame, and when I click again, we will get into the text itself. Okay, so you're burrowing down through the divs. Essentially, and then you get, and you press escape to burrow up and back out. Exactly as you do in InDesign when you double click on a grouped object and double click on a grouped object, because we know in InDesign CS5 you never ungroup anything, because you just double click to edit the group inside the group. Right? Same sort of, same sort of thing. If people are sitting there going, "What does he mean about that? You never have to ungroup in InDesign," um, <laughs> then I'll show you. Okay. So that's so the base, that's I'm going to this really, really, really basic menu system there. Okay. That's my master. So let's go back and go to the IDUG page, okay? And I want just quickly another um, pair, we can do accordion and tab panels. I'm going to do um, a slideshow and I just bring out a light box okay, very quickly. And here in that light box, I'm going to, um, I'll do it this way. Because this is um, very familiar to InDesign users. Select all these images, okay? Drag and drop them. Okay, into news, and what happens? You get the loaded gun, place gun cursor. Okay, just like InDesign. Okay, so what I'm going to do is drop them there on this um, for the technical much on this div. Okay, and you may think, what's going on here? So I'm going to select it. I'm going to select it again. I'm going to move this over there. Okay, um, I'm going to actually get rid of that image. Oh, remember, I've got to select it again. Keep an eye up there, image frame. Get rid of that one. Get rid of that, ah, the, that one and click and click to burrow down, get rid of that, there I go and very quickly then let's preview that and I have now a little slideshow, previous next, I need to rearrange those next or I can just click here and do all that and if I was to then go back and um, go to design and preview the site in the browser it would come up with the front page, home, nothing on the home page RMIT, nothing on RMIT page. IDUG page, ah, oh, IDUG page has a picture, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so this is version 0.01 of Muse, okay? If when you're finished, when you're happy with all that, we'll be adding lots more of these widgets to it, lots more functionality. I export it as HTML, um, I find a directory, okay, and my web site, okay, and create that, select it in there, it writes out the HTML, and you, um, there it is, in um, browser, okay, and again, we can view the source, and at the moment it's a little bit verbose, that source, we're cleaning that up, but it's, it's clean, it's formatted, just divs and stuff like that, okay. So again, if you're a, if you're a hand coder who uses teach text and, and BB edit, it's not for you, okay, um, uh, but um, it's, it's for people in this room, people who use InDesign and want to create websites. I mean, use it for one page, but again, it, it's designed to um, uh, make you plan out the site and where you want to do and, you know, all that sort of stuff. I need a sub-menu there and I need another one to there and yada, yada, yada. Okay, so that's Muse. It's free at the moment because it's in beta. Go to muse.adobe.com and um, it's, um, it's great. It's great. We're getting a lot of flack about it at the moment because it makes quite verbose code, but that's because we haven't got around to cleaning up the code yet. It's clean, but it's verbose. And if you were hand coding something and charging 100 bucks an hour to hand code, you'd take four hours to clean it up too. Okay. But um, <laughs> <laughs> alrighty. But what we're really here for is InDesign CS 5.5. Okay.